Honda so far. First impression. Walking into the historic Victory Pigs Pizza in Luzerne County. Perhaps, maybe Wyoming. that's where we are. I'm not sure. We're in Wyoming. Oh, that's okay. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah. Actually, it looks like a pretty cool place. Um, the atmosphere is nice, and um, the some of the food that I see coming out to other people's uh, tables like look good. Today? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're kind of excited to try the pizza. We like to try different people's pizza. So why not Wyoming, Pennsylvania? Yeah, right here in perhaps uh, the pizza capital of the world. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. What we got for the history? This is a famous um, pizza location of the uh, Wyoming Valley. Founded in 1942 by Italian immigrant turned entrepreneur Louis Saccoli and his wife Lee. Victory Pig began as a little sandwich shop specializing in pork barbecues. The recipe for pizza can be credited to Lee, who drew on her own culinary uh, ingenuity and the ethnic influences of the region to create a pizza legacy that endures to this day. Strangely, Lee did not begin making the pizza with the intention of selling it. She was simply packing her husband a work lunch with what had become one of his favorite treats. One day, while Lewis was unpacking his lunch at the restaurant's front counter, a customer asked him, what's that you're eating? When Lewis told him that his wife had made him some pizza, the man said he had never heard of it, and he asked to buy a slice. Lewis sold the man his dinner for five cents which proved to be the most fruitful decision of his life as the man insisted it was the best thing he had ever eaten. Later that day, Lee bought a, uh, brought a couple of trays down to the restaurant. They sold so fast that she had to run back home and make more. A couple recognized they had something special in their pizza and made it a permanent addition to their menu. All right, so let's take a look at this menu here. Let's see what they got on there. Of course, you know, I'm probably gonna go for the pizza. They have a little bit of a selection here and some sandwiches as well. The name, they think, is conceived as a dual reference to World War II and pork barbecue. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So this pizza looks pretty good. Uh, and they have garlic on the table. When there's garlic on the table, that's a key indicator that you're eating at a well-established pizzeria. I, I, maybe. It could also be an indicator that they're trying to cover up for the fact that they have no flavor in their food by putting extra seasonings on the table. And a deafening silence fell upon the pizza plate. <laughs> Before I indulge in the pizza, this lid that's on the uh, red pepper, that's another key indicator of a pizza place that knows what they're doing. Often you go to a pizza place that puts this kind of lid on there, and you're trying to shake it off onto the pizza, and it doesn't come off onto the pizza, because this is the red pepper right here. Linda, what do you think about Old Forge Pizza? This pizza, mm -hmm. Old Valley. Forge. Yeah, that's right. Old Forge. Yeah, Washington didn't eat this pizza. <laughs> yeah, one key indicator of the Old Forge Pizza is the onions that are kind of put in with the cheese or in with the sauce. I don't know. Do you know how they do that? Yeah, sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in with the sauce. So it's interesting. It's, it's pretty good if you like onions, of course. Yeah, and it actually is pretty good. Um, I put a little bit of everything in there. I put the red pepper and the oregano and a little bit of the garlic. And, um, and, you know, just for being a regular cheese pizza, it is very good. See? Oh, yeah. Victory Pig Barbecue in the yep. 1930s. I think that might have been the sign. The, oh, that could have been it. Earlier. So i got to say that pizza at, a, at Victory Pig was quite good. The crust was light and crispy. The tomato sauce, it tasted like fresh tomato sauce. And they said something about freezing pizza? Yes. Yes, actually what it is is they um, take their pizzas and they pull them out of the oven and they freeze them. And I guess they send them um, around the country because it said in their menu, nationwide delivery. Um, nationwide was two words, mind you, in the menu, but it's okay because um, they're making money selling pizza so they don't need to know English grammar. Right, absolutely. and. Uh... It's good because there's pizza constantly coming out of the oven. Right.